What's going on guys, this is Hunter with another Dash Design 2.0 tutorial. Um, this integrates some things from Dash Design as well as AEM data um, to give you a pretty neat effect. Um, so a lot of people have been asking for how they can get a track map on their Dash after exploring a, a few different ways to do it. Here's, what I, uh, here's something that I came up with. Using the AEM data software, we can create a track map and get the latitude and longitude coordinates. Um, then we can also run a quick channel report to get the min and max value for each one of these um, channels. Do that quickly by going right click, add view, report channels. You want to add the channels that you want to see right down here. So we have GPS, I, longitude. GPSI latitude. Okay, we just want the min and max values for each of these. Deselect all these items, and we want the min and max for the uh, the entire log for this um, section because the the log was trimmed to just have the on track stuff in it. So we will press OK. So that gives you what you see right here. What you can do is you'll use your uh, your favorite screenshotting software and you take you can take a screenshot of the track map here and you want to make sure you do right up to the edges something like that save it as a name so here i save it as button willow test then we'll move into dash design so moving over to dash design we can uh, import the image so we'll, uh, we'll go over here import graphic I've already done that, um, and you can see the graphic here. These two were two different tests in different resolutions. I decided to go with a little bit higher resolution of 300 by 300. Once that image is imported, we can uh, we can then go to the screens. You will uh, you'll create a new crosshair gauge on screen, which is what I have done right here. I'll delete that one. So on this crosshair gauge, you want to Add the image that we imported, press OK. Your X input will be the GPS channel for longitude. Your Y input will be the GPS side channel for latitude. Then you'll input the min and max values for both the X and the Y axis that you got from your data log. So then once those are in, I configured a red dot with a size 10 um, round. So, uh, so once these min and max values and the longitude and latitude are configured. We can go ahead and test this in the simulator just by jumping over here. Make sure you are connected to the AEM data log so you can see the uh, simulator here update as I scroll through the data log. Then if we go ahead and run the simulator, we'll jump to screen three where I have that set up. So here you can see the red dot on the track map on the dash. Um, and this is just what it will look like if it was on your screen. Um, and then if we play the data log by pressing play in AEM data, you can see the dot in AEM data as well as the dot on your track map following the same course. If you were on track at this location, um, you would see the dot at that exact point because it's following the, uh, the longitude and latitude of the data set which is uh, right from real recorded um, information. Easy as that, pretty simple. One thing to note is that uh, you, know, you need to start with a data log with the track map already in it. Um, that can make this uh, much easier. The track map generated by AEM data, easy to screenshot, easy to, uh, to import. You could even do you know, a different track on different dash pages. As long as the coordinates are correct on the min and max values for that XY plot, that track map will uh, will work correctly. Let me know if you have any more questions. Um, if you're looking for any more tutorials, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Check back for, uh, for any more updates. All right, thank you guys.